Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernard from the B10HD. And if you like me, you want to test out Windows 10 uh, and you don't have the hardware or the virtualization environment like I do, uh, and you want you still want to test it out, I want to show you guys how to dual boot with your current machine. Now I have a Windows 8.1 machine, a virtual machine, but you could do the same as a hardware or a real machine, right? So the first thing you want to do is you want to shrink your partition. You're basically creating another partition to install Windows 10 into. So the way you want to do this is you right click on your start menu and you want to go into your disk management. Okay. Once disk management loads up, we are going to, I'm going to expand this dialog box. And as you can see, this is my C drive. This is where my Windows 8.1 lives. Okay. We want to right click on it and we want to shrink the volume. Uh, once uh, the queuing of the shrink space pops finished, uh, you're going to get a nice little dialog box and we are going to give it a nice amount of where to shrink it. Now by default, I think Windows 8.1 only needs 20 gigs. So if you have a, a working Windows 8.1 that is in live production, you have all your applications, give it a little bit more, okay? Give it a, a good size of amount. Let's say if you have 500 gig hard drive, I would say give your C drive back 350 and the rest would be for your Windows 10 environment. For me, I'm going to give it 21,000 uh, megabytes because uh, right now I am only running 50 gigs. So 21,000 will give me, my C drive will be dropped down to 21 uh, gigs, right? So let's shrink it. Awesome. So right now it's been shrunk. I have about 21.51 gigs left. And this is the partition that we are going to install our Windows 10. Now, how can we install Windows 10? Uh, go to the site. I'm going to leave the link at the bottom of the video at the description part. Uh, go to the Windows Technical Preview, download the ISO, burn it into a DVD. Hopefully, you guys know how to burn it into a DVD. If you don't, uh, you know, shoot me up at the comment section and I will help you guys out on that part. Uh, once you burn the ISO into a DVD, you're going to put the DVD inside your laptop or desktop and you want to reboot your uh, system. So I'm going to reboot my system. I already have the ISO already mounted into my virtual environment, but I want to power this off. And once it's powered off, we want to go into, uh, we're going to start it up and we want to get into our BIOS. Now, a lot of laptops and hardware, F2 is the option or the F2 is the key that will allow you to get into your BIOS setting and you want to go into the boot option. Now within the boot option, you want to rearrange everything that reads like this. You want your CD-ROM to be first and your secondary would be your hard drive. Uh, I think it's F10 to save and exit. So I'm going to press F10, yes, and you're going to get a nice little option to press any key to boot into the CD and DVD. And right now, if you have the CD or the DVD burned correctly, you have it inside your laptop or workstation, it's going to boot into that uh, Windows 10 CD or DVD. Okay, so you're going to get this Windows setup. We're going to click on next. Uh, we're going to hit install. And right now, it's going to start setting up all the files that it needs for us to continue. Okay, so you get the license and term agreement. Accept it. Uh, we're going to hit next. Now, from here, you don't want to upgrade your system. We want to do it as a custom install. Uh, click on custom install, and as you can see, our partition that we created is there, but it's unallocated space. So what we're going to do is create a new. Make sure it's selected, new. We're going to apply. And now it's going to be called partition 3, partition 4, whatever. And make sure that new partition is selected. All right, guys, do not select the partition where your OS is at, okay? And we're going to hit next, and that's it. Uh, we're going to let it install, and then I'm going to show you guys how it looks when you are booting into both environments. All right, guys, so it's time for us to set up our Windows 10 environment. So I am going to do is, uh, let's do customize, and uh, let's go back. I don't like the customize. Let's do use express settings because it's the quickest to do. Uh, right now is setting up your account. Okay, uh, you got to create a new account or if you don't have an account. I have an account, so I'm going to actually log into my account. There we go. Let's log in. See if I remember the password. You know, click next. 
and um, I'm gonna say that I can't do it right now because I don't want to do it and uh, regardless if you can't do it you should be able to continue the installation if not uh, you could probably authenticate that you are installing the, the software and that you are you uh, so it says how should we set up your PC copy your settings and Windows Store as from another PC set this up as a new PC instead yes I want to do that because uh, this was my my actual last one so that's pretty cool so I'm going to set up this as a new one so I'm going to click next uh, we're going to turn this off I want to turn the OneDrive stuff off for this video uh, it's not recommended but if you guys do want to keep the OneDrive integration up and running go for it but for me I just want to have my Windows 10 up and running with my dual boot uh, Windows 8.1 environment all right guys so our installation is completed if we go inside our uh, file explorer or we will go into this PC and as you can see I got a C drive and a D drive right now because I'm booted into Windows 10 the C drive is the active drive and the D drive would be our Windows 8.1 so the other question is how can I get into my 8.1 well, to do this, you have to constantly restart your machine and to, to get into the other partition. So let's uh, close this and I am going to go to the start and uh, we are going to restart the machine and we're going to try to boot into our Windows 8.1 environment. All right, guys, as you can see, there was a quick timer at the very top. If you move your mouse, the timer is going to go away. But it gives you an option to choose which operating system you want to boot into, either the Windows Technical Preview, which is Windows 10, or you want to boot into your Windows 8.1 environment. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this how to create a do boot so you can test out Windows 10 and still have your Windows 8.1 machine up and running without even touching it. If you guys have any comments or concerns, leave them at the bottom of the comment section. Don't forget about hitting that like button because it does help the video out a lot. And I catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.